What's poppin' gang? It's Envy back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you my wash routine. So if you're interested in how I achieved these curls, then make sure to keep on watching. Okay, <clears throat> so this hair is about a week old, so it's definitely time to wash. I'm actually surprised it's not as dirty looking as it normally looks. <laughs> This looks so nasty. So I'm about to go into the shower, wash my hair, and wash my body, so I'm not gonna film that part. Here's a little 360. So cute, so clean, so gorgeous. Okay, let me go in the shower. Sorry, camera was a little foggy. Before we dive deeper into today's video, these are all the products that I will be using, so feel free to screenshot. I just shampooed my hair and then I combed through it. Now I'm going to take my microfiber towel and just wrap it around my head. Now the next step to my wash routine is deep conditioning. So I use the Olaplex hair protector. Literally, the only reason why I even use deep conditioner is because I have blonde in my hair and I did that probably beginning psych uh, I want to say like April or May of this year that's the only reason why I started deep conditioning but you should definitely do it even if you don't have color in your hair she obviously rec she recommended it I gotta stop saying obviously because maybe it's not that obvious but when you bleach your hair it loses moisture and you have to put you have to hydrate it, you know, put moisture back into it. So this is the main reason why I even use deep conditioner. So I keep it on my head for a couple minutes. We don't want it completely dry. We just want it a little bit damp. Then I go in with this. So now we wait. Okay, once it's been five-ish minutes, you want to go ahead and take off the microfiber towel. About to comb through my hair again, but before that, I'm cleaning it from when I used it in the shower. Look how much came out. This is actually normal, by the way. And before I start with a deep conditioner, I like to comb through my hair again just to make sure that all the knots are gone for a seamless application. I also like to part my hair down the middle so that I can easily target the blonde section. Now originally my hairstylist told me I only need that much for my whole head, but I like to make sure my blonde looks nice and hydrated. I'm trying to have them curls bounce back. So once that is nice and lathered into the blonde, I grab some more and then add it to the rest of my hair. Personally, I like to avoid having product at the roots of my hair, just generally speaking because my natural oils come through very quick, so I don't need it to appear dirty if it really isn't, you feel me? <laughs> that being said, I just focus on the middle to the ends. You definitely want to deep condition first because it's meant to hide and repair your hair from the inside out. Then, regular conditioner goes after to lock in all that moisture and smooth the cuticle, leaving our curls super soft and manageable. The reason why I put the microfiber towel on top of the grocery bag is because I just like to keep it, it just feels more secure on my head when I put the microfiber towel on. Okay, now we are going to a regular condition. I just take about one pump and then rake it through the ends of my hair. And when we rinse out, we're gonna rinse out with cold water. So focus on the ends. Now I'm going to turn the water on and then we're going to rinse all this product out. So for anyone who's wondering why Envy, why does the water have to be cold? 
It's because rinsing your regular conditioner out with cold water helps to seal the hair cuticle. When the hair cuticle is smooth and closed, it locks in that moisture, reduces frizz, and makes your curls look shinier, which is what we want. Cold water also helps your hair hold onto the nutrients from the conditioner better. It's a small step, but I promise you it will make such a huge difference. I think I failed to mention that it was just under 15 minutes that I had the deep conditioner in. You can have it in for a little bit as long as you want. So during that time, I just did my brows. Okay. Okay, now that the deep conditioning is over with, comes the styling. You want to keep your hair low-key as wet as possible to reduce frizz when you're drying it. Next step is... Literally, my mother bought this for me at the discount grocery store and gifted it to me and it's been my go-to since. This is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls. It's a mousse and I just love the consistency of it. Love it, love it. And it smells good too. So, lather all over my hands and then I just flip my hair over. Actually, I gotta take this towel off. <clears throat> Okay, normally I go back to the tub and flip it over so my hair doesn't drip everywhere. So I just scrunch my hair as I'm applying it. So let me just rinse my hands off. So the amount of product you put in your hair is all personal preference. I usually, what you see, that's all I put in. Recently, I just started applying gel as like the top coat. It's supposed to just like lock everything in. So I grow about that much. A little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna flip my hair over again. And again, you just want to scrunch it in. It's very important when you're doing when you're doing your curly hair routine. It's really important to deep condition the parts that need more moisture. Speaking about my blonde here because if I didn't do that, you could obviously tell it's not as nice looking. The curls aren't as bouncy as the rest of my head. So it would definitely look a little weird. So deep conditioning is very important. All right, let me just rinse. Oh, what's a thick piece of hair, girl? Damn, I wish my whole head had this thick of a Mmm, it's a good brow day. If you feel like you need more water, go ahead and do so. It's literally with curly hair, it's never too much. The more the merrier, just know that when it comes to diffusing or drying your hair, it's going to take longer. So patience is key. All right, next I'm going to grab my diffuser. Okay, I don't use anything fancy. This is just the Infinite Pro by Kanye. And I always put it on, always keep it on hot and I put it on low speed. Before we start diffusing, you definitely wanna add a heat protectant. I'm just gonna put, that might have even been too much, but I'm gonna apply it 
focus on the ends of my hair. Sorry, not sorry that this routine or video seems all over the place. Because it low-key is. And every video that I make, I always wing it. Because that's, that's just me, honestly. I don't pre-plan. The only thing I pre-plan is appointments, like doctor's appointments, health-related appointments. Other than that, I'm pretty much just a free-flowing go with flow kind of, Pretty much just a go with the flow kind of girl. Anyway, so now that I put the heat protectant in, again, I'm gonna put it on low and heat on high. So normally for me, it takes about 20 minutes. It's 12.44 now, so we're gonna see how long it takes. Also, when I start diffusing, I focus on my scalp, get the roots dry, and then I go down to the ends and start scooping like that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, changing quality because my camera died, so yay for that. My hair is 95% dry. Curls. Looking amaze. Honestly, I have no idea what the bag looks like. I never do because I had a hand here, but it broke. I don't remember why. So let me just finish. Whenever it's like 90%, when it's like 90 <laughs> So normally when it, it's like almost dry, I just break my hands through and just feel which areas need more drying. And then I'll just go back and do those parts. And then at the end, I'm gonna just shake it out. One thing I don't do is part my hair before I style. Before I start diffusing, I don't part my hair. I kind of just let it rock and then have my hair falls, my hair falls. <laughs> like, but what is that? I'm like, okay. That's what my hair needs to look like. I'm not gonna fight. And I just shaky, shaky, a shaky, shaky, a shaky, shaky. Let me give y'all a quick 360. Now, we don't have much volume going on because my hair doesn't really have layers. But curls are looking pretty defined. And that's what we want. That's what we want. Julia, this one is for you. You request this video, so I hope that you find something in this video or anybody who's watching this i hope you guys find something in this video helpful thank you if you've watched this far and i will see you in my next one